Good. Can you tell me your name and some of the work you're doing, um, even in an academic position? Hi, I'm Benet um, Kutsia. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Pretoria, and I also do a lot of research on non-invasive measures of health. And in, in 30 seconds, can you tell me what is, uh, what do we mean by non-invasive measures of health, particularly in an African context? I and mean, when you answer, can you say non-invasive measures of health are, mm -hmm. so the question is still the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what we specifically want to do is we want to develop non-invasive measures, which means that it's something where you completely stay away from blood because compliance is very low once you have to draw blood. And, but we also want to tailor it specifically for the African continent. So we want to have it rapid, and we want to have it affordable. Otherwise, the different countries won't adopt it. Mm -hmm. And in terms of your own research, um, with high accuracy and etc., um, what is the, what do you think is the possibility of rollout of the, some of the work you're doing, for example, with the three camera and in more conditions? So for the three D camera, a lot of research has been done overseas already, where they can diagnose a whole range of infant conditions. We're lagging a little bit behind, um, so we're focusing on Down syndrome. And the challenges are slightly different in Africa. Um, the facial features are slightly different, etc. So we need to focus on that specifically within Africa. Um, and in your opinion, we talk a little bit about uh, changing the way we teach science. Um, how do we need to, why do we need to do that? And how can we do that, particularly in Africa, where we need to rapidly increase scientists? I think we need to change the mindset. We're not, a, not at all focused on innovation. Even though if you go outside on the streets in Africa, there's innovation all over the place. But in science, we're still teaching textbook science, where we basically teach them all the fundamentals and nothing more. I think it's important to help them to think outside the box. Um, and my last question is, what uh, would you like to do in your own research? What's, what's the future plan? If, if you were given uh, unlimited funding, what's, what's, where, where are you going? Unlimited funding and time. <laughs> time is the big issue at the moment. Um, what I want to do is I'm working on quite a few projects at the moment, um, all focused on developing non-invasive measures of health, and I'd like to follow up on those, sorry I can't say a lot about them, uh, but I'd like to follow up on those um, studies within Africa specifically. Thank you so much. Thank you.